Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the working of the pressure compensated flow control valve. In the previous class or session, I have discussed about the non-pressure compensated flow control valve. There, that type of valve is used for the constant pressure type of uh, drop of the type of the system. If the pressure drop is variable, okay, it is difficult to use the non-pressure compensated uh, flow control volume because if the pressure changes, the flow also changes, and that we cannot have the control. Even though for the set pressure, the flow rate will be changing due to the change in the pressure in the non-pressure compensated flow control valves, and if the pressure changes. We should maintain the same rate of the flow. To have that one, we are going to use the pressure compensated flow control valve. Here, very simple, simplest type of the non -co pressure compensated flow control valve is this type. Here, it consists of the valve body and orifice through which the flow of the fluid is taking place, and poppet, which is the Hall element the operates the hall element operates the flow of the fluid and it allows and knob for the operation spring which is used to compensate the pressure. During the normal operation, when the pressure is remains constant, the flow of the fluid is taking place through the in this direction. Then the, through the orifice, the flow of the fluid will be taking place, and the con required the constant flow rate of the fluid will be there. If the pressure increases, if the pressure increases, then this whatever the poppet is there, that will be uh, move due to the compression of the spring. The compression of the the spring tension what is there that is the particular set pressure is there for, for example the 20 psi pressure that one this spring is set above that if the pressure is increased then this spring will be get compresses and that blocks the outlet flow that will be blocks the outlet flow and the fluid whatever is there that occupies here also in this space the fluid will be aquifices and later onwards here also the that higher pressure will be acting on this side also then this poppet will be moving in this direction again this poppet will be moving in this direction and pressure at this side and pressure outside will be compensated will be compensated and that compensated pressure will be 20 bar psi pressure only or 20 bar pressure only it will be there then the same that pressure the flow rate water will be there that will be allowed to flow through it by the compensation of the pressure on either side of the spring the flow rate will be maintained and that is the pressure compensated flow control valve and whatever the pressure required for us the Variable the other pressure other than the 20 psi pressure if it is required, this knob is operated, which will set the tension in the spring, and that will be the sets the pressure of the that system. And at that pressure, above that pressure, if it is increases, that will be compensated by using this spring and the poppet valve system. And this is the Particularly, user, whenever the pressure is increased due to the increase in the load in the system, then that should not increase the flow rate. The flow rate is directly related to a speed. In the speed we don't want to increase. Then the pressure compensated flow control valve. If you use the speed, will be remain same. The flow rate will be remain same, even though variation in the pressure it will be taking place, and that is about the working and here also with the animation this we can see here this again the same thing we are going to see here this whatever the puppet is there 
and when the pressure it will be increases the poppet will be move and the this due to the spring will be get compressed and that whatever this compression of the spring it will allow the some part of the flow to the tank some part of the flow to the tank and thereby the required flow will be taking place the required flow rate to the actuator the same flow rate it will be taking place here we can see this is the from the pump the flow is entering to the hall and this is the orifice through which the actual flow is taking place whenever the pressure increases this poppet will be move in the upward direction and which will compresses the spring and that spring tension will be set by this knob and later onwards the whatever this come after the compression of the spring which will allows the part of the fluid to the tank and part of the fluid to the actuator and where the actual flow rate what it is required in the system thereby it will be uh, supplying the required flow rate even though variation in the pressure it will be taking place and here the whatever the flow is there to maintain the constant flow the excess flow of fluid flow what is there that will be directed to the some other parts of the system or to the tank and this working what is there okay, uh, with the sketch and animation what i have taken this also i can explain here if the load of the actuator changes significantly the system pressure will change if the load changes system pressure will change thus the flow rate through the non pressure compensated flow rate through the non pressure compensated valve will change for the same flow rate setting even though if you have the same flow rate setting the flow rate will change for the non pressure compensated valve then the pressure compensated valve operation is whatever shown in the figure or a in the animation this design incorporates the hydrostat hydrostat means it maintains a constant flow that is called as a hydrostat that maintains the constant 20 psi differential pressure across the rotor okay that hydrostat what it maintains it maintains a constant differential pressure across the rotor but i have shown that one okay in the spring either part of the rotor it will be or a poppet it will maintains the differential pressure of the constant 20 psi which is an orifice which is an orifice that is the throttle is an orifice whose area can be adjusted by external knob setting the external knob setting by that one we can adjust the area okay thereby the variation in the pressure we can change which will change the flow rate the orifice area setting determines the flow rate to be controlled the hydrostat is held normally open by a light spring okay that hydrostat is usually open by a light spring held normally open by a light spring however it starts to close an inlet pressure as inlet pressure increases that will starts to close the outlet as the inlet pressure increases and overcomes the light spring force that will be overcoming the light spring force whatever is there by the tension of the spring this closes the opening through the hydrostat that will be closes the opening through the hydrostat that what the pressure maintaining uh, hydrostat we can call okay which is maintaining the uh, constant pressure difference thereby blocks flow of flow uh, of all flow excess of the throttle setting that will blocks the whatever the uh, flow whatever is excess of that throttle setting what we are going to use that is a constant flow rate setting as a result the only oil that will pass through the valve is the amount of 20 psi okay that whatever the hole which is passing the 
that the wall is having the constant pressure difference constant pressure difference of 20 psi can force through the brutal wall and thereby in the flow rate will be controlled the flow exceeding this amount okay even though due to the pressure the sum flow will be increased and the watt flow exceeding this amount is there can be used by the other parts of the circuit or return to the tank via pressure relief wall using the pressure relief wall that can be returned to the tank or we can use to the other parts of the system here mainly we should know that one due to the increase in the load the pressure will be increases in the system and even though increase in the pressure the we should maintain the constant flow rate which will determine so the speed of the system and that can be attained by using the this pressure compensated flow control valve okay this is about the very important part of the system okay which will maintain the that constant speed of the system or a actuator thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment